Hey, what's up all you beautiful people? It's Ashley here and today's video is all about the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator or MBTI. Now before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to Rishi Cup TV, the YouTube channel where good music, good food, and good talk intersect. Alright, so the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. Now it's an introspective self-report questionnaire designed to indicate psychological preferences in how people perceive the world and make decisions. The MBTI was constructed by Catherine Cook Briggs and her daughter Isabel Briggs Myers based on the typological theory proposed by Carl Jung. So basically you just take a test and at the end of it you'll find out which of the 16 personality types you are. And each question is based on one of the four cognitive learning styles. The first one, extroversion or introversion. Do you prefer to focus on the outer world or on your own little world? The extroverted types learn best by talking and interacting with others. By interacting with the physical world, extroverts can process and make sense of new information. The introverted types prefer quiet reflection and privacy. Information processing occurs for introverts as they explore ideas and concepts internally. The second one, sensing or intuition. Do you prefer to focus on the basic information you take in or do you prefer to intercept and add meaning? Sensing types enjoy a learning environment in which the material is presented in a detailed and sequential manner. Sensing types often attend to what is occurring in the present and can move on to the abstract after they have established a concrete experience. Intuitive types prefer a learning atmosphere in which an emphasis is placed on meaning and associations. Insight is valued higher than careful observation and pattern recognition occurs naturally for intuitive types. The third one, thinking or feeling. When making decisions, do you prefer to first look at logic and consistency or first look at the people and special circumstances? Thinking types desire objective truth and logical principles and are natural at deductive reasoning. Feeling types place an emphasis on issues and causes that can be personalized while they consider other people's motives. And the fourth one, judging or perceiving. In dealing with the outside world, do you prefer to get things decided or do you prefer to stay open to new information and options? Judging types will thrive when information is organized and structured and they will be motivated to complete assignments in order to gain closure. Perceiving types will flourish in a flexible learning environment in which they are stimulated by new and exciting ideas. Judging types would like to be on time, while perceiving types may be late and or procrastinate. Now it is based on these four cognitive learning styles that they name each of these 16 personality types. Don't know what I mean? Well, if you've even remotely heard of the um, Myers-Briggs type indicator, then you would have seen how they name the personality types. For example, you've got INFJ. INTP, ESTJ. So how does that work? Well, they just pretty much take the first letter, uh, in this case the second one because I and I, they don't want to confuse you I guess, and just put it all together. So if your personality type is INFP, so you've got I, N, F, P. That simple. Now if you haven't taken this personality now if you haven't taken this test yet, well you can go over to 16personalities.com to take a free test and find out what is your personality type. And for now I'm just gonna go through all 16 personality types. Good luck to me. Now the first type is ISTJ, the duty filler or logistician. Serious and quiet, interested in security and peaceful living extremely thorough, responsible, and dependable, well-developed powers of concentration, usually interested in supporting and promoting traditions and establishments, 
well organized and hardworking, they work steadily towards identified goals, they can usually accomplish any task once they've set their mind to it. ISTP, the mechanic or virtuoso. Quiet and reserved, interested in how things work and why. Excellent skills with mechanical things. Risk takers who live for the moment. Usually interested in and talented at extreme sports. Uncomplicated in their desires. Loyal to their peers and to their internal value systems but not overly concerned with respecting laws and rules if they get in the way of getting something done. Detached and analytical, they excel at finding solutions to practical problems. ISFJ, the nurturer or defender. Quiet, kind, and conscientious, can be dependent on to follow through, usually puts the needs of others above their own needs, Stable and practical, they value security and traditions, well-developed sense of space and function, rich inner world of observations about people, extremely perspective of others' feelings, and interested in serving others. Next, ISFP, the artist or adventurer. Quiet, serious, sensitive, and kind. Extremely well-developed senses and aesthetic appreciation Extremely well-developed senses and aesthetics appreciation for beauty, not interested in leading or controlling others. Flexible and open-minded, likely to be original and creative, and they enjoy the present moment. Number five is INFJ, the protector or advocate. Quietly forceful, original, and sensitive. Tends to stick to things until they're done. They're extremely intuitive about people and concerned for their feelings. Well-developed value systems which they strictly adhere to. Well-respected for their perseverance in doing the right thing. And likely to be individualistic rather than leading or following. Next is INFP, the idealist or meditator. Quiet and reflective and idealistic. Interested in serving humanity well-developed value system which they strive to live in accordance with. Extremely loyal, adaptable and laid back unless a strongly held value is threatened. Usually talented writers, mentally quick and able to see possibilities, interested in understanding and helping people. Number seven is INTJ, the scientist or architect. Independent, original, analytical and determined have an exceptional ability to turn theories into solid plans of action. Highly value knowledge, competence, and structure. Driven to derive meaning from their visions. Long-range thinkers, they have very high standards for their performance and the performance of others. Natural leaders, but they will follow if they trust existing leaders. The next one is INTP, the thinker or logician. Logical, original, and creative thinkers can be very excited about theories and ideas, exceptionally capable and driven to turn theories into clear understandings, highly value knowledge, competence, and logic, quiet and reserved, hard to get to know well, individualistic, having no interest in leading or following others. Number nine is ESTP, the doer, or entrepreneur. Friendly, adaptable, and action-oriented. Doers who are focused on immediate results. Living in the here and now, they are risk-takers who live fast-paced lifestyles. Impatient with long explanations, extremely loyal to their peers, but not usually respectful of laws and rules if they get in the way of getting things done. But they have great people skill. ESTJ the guardian or executive. Practical, traditional, and organized. Likely to be athletic. Not interested in theory or abstraction unless they see the practical application. Have clear visions of the way things should be done. Loyal and hardworking. Likes to be in charge. Exceptionally capable in organizing and running activities. Good citizens who value security and peaceful living. You were stepping all over my second laptop. Come on.
Number 11 is ESFP, the performer slash entertainer. People oriented and fun loving, living for the moment they love new experiences. They dislike theory and impersonal analysis, interested in serving others, likely to be the center of attention in social situations, well developed common sense and practical ability. Number 12 is ESFJ, the caregiver or counsel. Warm-hearted, popular, and conscientious, they tend to put the needs of others above their own. They feel a strong sense of responsibility and duty. Value traditions and security, interested in serving others, they need positive reinforcement to feel good about themselves. Well-developed sense of space and function. ENFP, the inspirer and campaigner. Enthusiastic, idealistic, and creative able to do almost anything that interests them. Great people skills, need to live life in accordance with their inner values, excited by new ideas but bored with details, open-minded and flexible with broad range of interests and abilities. Now I took the test and apparently this is my personality type, the ENFJ, the giver slash protagonist. Popular and sensitive, I am not popular, with outstanding people skills. Externally focused with real concern for how others think and feel. Usually dislikes being alone. They see everything from the human angle and dislike impersonal analysis. Very effective at managing people issues and leading group discussions. Interested in serving others and probably place the needs of others over their own needs. That leading group discussions thing my oldest brother says that I'm bossy, but I like to think of it as taking charge. Creative, resourceful, and intellectually quick. Good at a broad range of things. Enjoys debating issues and may be into one-upmanship. They get very excited about new ideas and projects, but may neglect the more routine aspects of life. Generally outspoken and assertive, they enjoy people and are stimulating company. Excellent ability to understand concepts and apply logic to find solutions. And finally, number 16, the ENTJ, the executive slash commander. Assertive and outspoken, they are driven to lead. Excellent ability to understand difficult organizational problems and create solid solutions. Intelligent and well-informed, they usually excel at public speaking. They value knowledge and competence and usually have little patience with inefficiency or disorganization. And there you have it, all 16 personality types. We did it! We did it, Sasha! I think she's more interested in sleeping than my celebration. So now that you guys have some idea of the 16 personality types, so now that you guys have some idea about the 16 personality types and you haven't taken the free test yet, then go on over to 16personalities.com and comment below letting us know what is your personality type and whether you think it's appropriate or not. And that is my time! Thank you so much for watching this video. The link to all of my sources are in the description box below.